I'll be honest with you guys, I don't like coming on camera without my makeup. I very, very rarely do it. And the reason I became a makeup artist to begin with is because I have felt butt ugly the majority of my life. Makeup for me back then and even still now to this day, I know you're not supposed to say this, but for me, it gave me confidence. It was like a way to control my image, make the most of the features that I liked and disguise the ones that I didn't like so much. In saying that, makeup has hugely negative connotations. People love to accuse women who wear makeup of falsely advertising themselves. They call you a catfish or they threaten to take you swimming on a first date, which to me sounds like a delightful first date. I would much rather go swimming on a first date than like an awkward dinner. And then there's the whole thing where if you get caught without your makeup on, people are shocked. They're confused, concerned even. They're like, are you sick? You look a little tired. You look different. And it's like, thanks. I'm just not wearing my makeup. It's no wonder that so many women feel embarrassed to be seen without their makeup when modern day media presents women minus their makeup as hideous, shocking, unsightly. And then social media kind of reinforces this belief with these perfectly edited, filtered, no makeup pictures. Like, oh my God, you guys, I saw Jessica Simpson. What is this? She posted this picture to her Instagram the other day. She's like, I'm not wearing any makeup. And it's like, okay, maybe you're not technically wearing makeup, but this is not what you look like with a totally bare face. Pictures like this, that celebrities and influencers and models post to their social medias where they claim that they're not wearing an ounce of makeup, but yet the picture is totally edited, totally filtered. A lot of the time they are wearing makeup, not to mention the fact that they can afford the best skincare products, the best facials, the best plastic surgery, the best fillers. It's like, guys, this is not an accurate representation of what women look like without makeup in reality. And it's not even an accurate representation of what these women look like in reality without makeup. And I think in a lot of ways, it's pictures like this like, that make other women feel embarrassed to be seen without their makeup. Cause they're like, I don't look this flawless without my makeup. So there must be something wrong with me. 70% of the time, my skin is red and angry and inflamed because I have really bad rosacea. In fact, today is one of those days and I am wearing foundation because I'm insecure about my rosacea and I'm trying to get to a place where I'm not insecure about my rosacea, but I'm not there yet. And so wearing a bit of foundation on my face makes me feel a little bit better about having that condition. Wearing eyebrow pencil like today makes me feel so much more confident because I used to have good thick eyebrows until I became a teenager and plucked them all out and the bastards never grew back. I don't think that it's our faces or even makeup that is the actual problem here. The problem in my eyes is this subtle brainwashing that makes us think that our natural faces are the problem and that these filtered, edited, no makeup faces are the reality. And that the real reality of what we're Women look like without makeup is repulsive. I just want to quickly pause and say a huge thank you to this video's sponsor, the lovely Kitsch. Since I gave birth to my most recent son, Jaxi, my hair has totally changed. My postpartum hair loss has been hectic to say the least, like holy shit. Not only that, but I used to have a really oily scalp. Since having Jax, my scalp is now dry. Don't know what it is, but it's kind of irritating me. So I knew I obviously needed to change something up because something wasn't working. So when Kitsch reached out and wanted to send me their beautiful range of hair care products, I was like, yes, please. So I decided to use their castor oil shampoo bar and their shea butter conditioning bar, which helps to hydrate, balance, and calm scalp irritation, which in turn will help to prevent breakage, hair loss, and hair damage, which I really, really need. <laughs> Another beautiful thing about the Kitsch solid shampoo and conditioner bars is that they totally remove the need for plastic bottles. Another amazing thing about Kitsch as a brand is that they are Leaping Bunny certified. They are vegan and cruelty-free. They also don't contain any of the nasty ingredients like phthalates, parabens, or salt face, which we don't want on our hair, let alone our body. Kitsch has the most gorgeous accessories for your hair care routine, like this super cute shower caddy, which keeps everything really neat and organized. If this sounds like something that your hair needs, then I will put the link to Kitsch's website in the description box down below. And you can also use the discount code Stephanie to get 25% off your first order. Kitsch ships in the US and internationally to over 27 countries, including Canada, the UK, Australia, New Zealand, and more. I saw a video recently on a girl called Chloe Waters and the video was titled something along the lines of the world's biggest catfish. I get that Chloe's hook is that she goes from looking old as kids on TikTok would believe to looking young and hot with makeup. And I get that that has gained her a lot of followers and a lot of attention and she's doing really, really well and good for her. But I do personally think that this whole like catfish thing, like going from this to this and making herself look a certain way in the before and a certain way in the after is putting out a slightly negative message. And I'm feeling like the world's biggest hypocrite right now because I used to do the same thing years ago on YouTube. I remember like doing makeup tutorials before and afters were huge and I was like, ooh, I can do that. So I would take a picture of myself with no makeup, but I would make myself look 
as awkward and uncomfortable as I possibly could. And then in the after picture with my makeup on, I would make myself look as good as I possibly could. And I would pose in a certain way. And then the two pictures would be so contrasted that in the thumbnail, people would be like, oh my God, what a transformation. And they'd click on it. And looking back now, I'm like, <laughs> I don't think that was the right thing to do. So when I look at a similar kind of thing happening today, but on TikTok, I'm like, Ugh. because to me, I don't see anything wrong with Chloe's no makeup face. I don't. I think she's really, really pretty. Yes, she obviously looks gorgeous with her makeup done, but her no makeup face is pretty beautiful too. She's got sparkly eyes, gorgeous olive skin, wide, happy smile. And I really hope that she doesn't actually genuinely think that her no makeup face is any less than her made up face because she's so beautiful. And further to that fact, I'd hate anyone watching TikTok who comes across this kind of video who may actually look like Chloe's before picture. I would hate for them to look at that picture and be like, well, shit, I look like that. And then feel like their natural face is not beautiful because it is. Do you know what also irks me? It's these like massive publications who accuse women of being unrecognizable without their makeup. And it is such an insult to these women. Saying that these women are unrecognizable without their makeup is basically saying, you look terrible without your makeup. We can't even recognize you. Take this article from Women's Health, for example. Jennifer Lawrence is almost unrecognizable in a seriously glowy no makeup post baby outing photo. Now I get that their demographic is women who would genuinely be interested in seeing a beautiful celebrity without her makeup on in her postpartum period, because let's face it, none of us really feel very glam in that period, or at least I certainly bloody didn't. And I think another aspect is that we're all so sick to death of seeing overly filtered, overly edited pictures of celebrities that when we see a celebrity out in the wild looking like a real person, we're like, oh my God, click. But Jennifer Lawrence is not unrecognizable in these pictures at all. She looks the same as she always does, minus the makeup. And of course, women do look different when they've got a bare face versus when they've got glamorous makeup on. That's the whole point of makeup. Then there's this article from The Sun. Stars who dare to go bare. As Elsa Hosk is snapped without her makeup, we reveal 10 other stars who went slap free in public. <laughs> what the heck? Why is it such a big deal? for women to go makeup free. The thing is, it's not just the lack of makeup that is making these women look unrecognizable to these folk. In most of these unrecognizable images, their hair isn't styled. It's in daylight rather than like a film studio or the red carpet. They're not posing. Here's an article for The Sun. Tyra Banks, unrecognizable in rare makeup free photos. Honestly, Phil McDonald, I think you need to update your glasses prescription because I can clearly see that that beautiful woman is indeed Tyra Banks. I'll admit she is not looking her most glamorous in these pictures, but that's okay. Like, do we really hold celebrities and not even just celebrities, but women in general, do we really think it's healthy to hold them to this standard that they must look like this all the time and that they can't look like this? How is that fair? Like that is so much pressure. None of us can look like this all the time. Not even a model like Tyra Banks. Lower your expectations, Phil, and then you won't be so shocked when you see a woman's bare face. Take a look at these famous supermodels. Guys, these are women who have built an entire career because they're so beautiful, right? We'll start with Elsa Hosk. She's a stunner. But look at how makeup brings out her features and makes them pop. It's not a mask. It's not plastic surgery. It's simply defining her gorgeous features. Then there's Kate Moss. She is one of the biggest supermodels ever known. And she may not look quite as glam without her makeup, but she's a human. I think we need to calm down on the expectation that women should look like dolls. We don't. <laughs> In real life, that is not attainable for anyone, not even a supermodel. Miranda Miranda Kerr, another supermodel, she is so beautiful with makeup and without makeup. And she looks like the same person, just less glam version. Bahati Prince Lou, she has skin texture and oily skin. And yes, this can be disguised with good makeup. I know all about that. But the thing is, we all have skin texture and oily skin actually has the added bonus of keeping your skin naturally hydrated. Alessandra Ambrosio, she is absolutely beautiful with her makeup on and without it, she is too. She just looks a little bit different, but like that's the whole point of makeup. Giselle Bunchen, I love her. She is an absolute stunner with and without her glam on. And I just, I love how strong her features are. I feel like they can sometimes get toned down a little bit in her modeling adverts and with her makeup on. But in real life, you're like, oh yes, she's beautiful. Look at her. Katy Perry, she got slammed in the media. I remember Russell Brand, her ex-husband, posted this picture of her. I think she'd just woken up. She was in bed. She's got no makeup on and she looks like a normal regular woman. But the media uproar at the time was so 
shameful. It was basically calling her ugly without her makeup and I just couldn't believe it. And I think that's why it's so important to keep re-emphasizing the fact that bare faces, they're not shameful, they're not hideous, they're not flawed. These women are not unrecognizable. I think it's important to be able to appreciate makeup and what it can do for us and how it can make us feel, but acknowledge the fact that at the end of the day, we wash it off, or at least we should, and then we go back to looking like our bare, naked, Selves. Each version of ourselves is equally as beautiful and equally as worthy. That is a message that I want to impart to you guys and to myself because God knows I need to hear it. 